Hello everyone. Today we are ditching the usual cruise tourist traps and setting our sights on something a little more remote, shall we say. We've been obsessed with cruising for years, hitting all the popular ports and soaking up the sunshine, right? But lately, something's been calling to us. And I think it's the allure of the unexplored, the whisper of something unexpected on the horizon. And fortunately, that's where expedition cruises come in. By the end of this video, I'm going to tell you which remote destination we've chosen to visit. But first, I'm going to tell you what expedition cruising actually is, and I'm going to tell you if it's right for you. Forget the giant floating resorts with endless buffets and crowded pools. Expedition cruises are all about getting up close and personal with the most incredible untouched corners of our planet. Think smaller ships designed for maneuverability and exploration with fewer passengers and a more intimate atmosphere. It's a complete shift in focus. These cruises prioritize expert-led explorations, thrilling zodiac landings on pristine shores, and wildlife encounters that will leave you speechless. Now let's talk about the destinations that these types of cruises typically target. We're about to unveil some serious remote gems that more traditional cruises typically can't reach. Antarctica. The very name conjures images of awe-inspiring glaciers, endless white plains, and a sense of untamed wilderness. Expedition cruises allow you to witness this frozen wonderland firsthand waddling alongside penguins on land and coming face to face with majestic whales breaching in the icy waters. The frozen paradise of the Arctic offers a unique brand of beauty, with landscapes sculpted by glaciers and bathed in the ethereal glow of the midnight sun. Expedition cruises here give you the chance to spot polar bears in their natural habitat, witness the breathtaking phenomenon of the northern lights dancing across the night sky, and experience the stark beauty of a world untouched by time. In the Galapagos Islands, you can follow in the footsteps of Charles Darwin himself and discover the wildlife that inspired his theory of evolution. These volcanic islands are home to giant tortoises lumbering through the undergrowth, iguanas basking on the lava rocks, and the iconic blue-footed boobies displaying their flamboyant courtship rituals. The world is dotted with countless other hidden islands and archipelagos that can only be reached with an expedition ship. Each one of these offers its own unique ecosystem and kind of unique cultural tapestry. For example, expedition cruises can take you to the volcanic landscapes of the South Pacific, where tribal villages and lush rainforests meet crystal clear waters. Or perhaps you'd prefer the untouched beauty of Southeast Asia, with towering limestone formations jutting from turquoise waters, or hidden coves waiting to be explored. I would also include remote islands in this section, such as Easter Island, St. Helena, and the Falkland Islands, because each one of these is remote and steeped in history and beauty and a bit of mystery. For the truly adventurous, expedition cruises offer the chance to push the boundaries of exploration and venture into regions where few have set foot before. Just imagine cruising through untouched fjords, navigating uncharted waterways, and being among the first to encounter wildlife in pristine habitats. The thrill of discovery awaits around every corner on these groundbreaking voyages. What exactly should you expect from an expedition cruise? Let's break it down. Well, expect smaller, more comfortable ships with a focus on exploration and learning. 
expert naturalists and guides will be there to lead the way, offering fascinating insights into the local wildlife, geology, and history. Activities will revolve around exploration and discovery. You will likely have shore landings on remote islands, zodiac cruises that allow you to get up close to wildlife, and educational lectures on board. Be prepared to have some flexibility. Weather conditions in remote regions can sometimes alter itineraries. Consider this as adding an extra layer of excitement and adventure to your trip. So who is expedition cruising best for? It's not exactly for everyone. It's best for those adventurous souls who crave something beyond the mainstream. If you're passionate about nature, wildlife, and exploration, and don't mind a touch of adventure, then expedition cruising is for you. It's ideal for those who are curious about the world and want to experience destinations in a more authentic way. Do keep in mind that someone who undertakes this kind of cruise will encounter some potential challenges, such as unpredictable weather and physical activity involved in some excursions that include zodiac landings and long hikes. Also, the cost factor may be an issue for many. Expedition cruises tend to be more expensive than traditional cruises and offer a unique value proposition. Not all cruise lines have expedition ships or have itineraries that include remote destinations. Let me tell you which ones do. A few fantastic cruise lines specialize in remote destinations, each with their own unique approach and areas of expertise. Some of the most well-respected names include Lindblad Expeditions, known for their luxurious yet adventurous voyages. Silver Sea Expeditions, offering a touch of elegance in remote settings. Quark Expeditions, leaders in polar exploration. And Herta Gruden, known for their coastal cruises along the stunning Norwegian fjords. Even Viking has newly built expedition ships to take you to Antarctica. Research different lines to find the perfect fit for your interest and budget. All right, folks, after all that info, I can't resist any longer. We've decided to take the plunge and go to one of these remote destinations ourselves. Which one is it? Well, it's none other than the awe-inspiring, the majestic, the land of the penguins, Antarctica. We can't wait to share our adventure with you, so stay tuned for upcoming videos. In the meantime, let us know in the comments below what remote destination are you most excited about exploring?